I recently acquired this Commodore 8250 LP disk drive. It's a dual five and a quarter inch IEEE 488 floppy drive made by Commodore in 1983. Being that they're IEEE 488 drives, they were natively compatible with the PET and CBM2 series computers. The 8250LP came a year after the 8250, which was released in 1982. The 8250 and 8250LP are capable of storing one megabyte of data on a single disk. The difference between the 8250 and the LP was that the LP stood for low profile. While this may not look very low profile next to a micro SD card in 2022, in 1983 they were considerably smaller than their full size predecessors. Here you can see the 8250LP sitting next to an 8050. I purchased this drive from a fella I know and it was shipped to me from Germany. Incidentally, thank you Vossi. This thing was packaged to survive Armageddon. Being from Germany, it has a 220 volt power supply. I live in the United States, so if I want to use this drive for something other than a doorstop, I'm going to need to convert the power supply over to 110 volt. That's what you're going to see in this video. The weather's beautiful today in Pittsburgh, so I have the doors open in the Commodore room. If you hear birds in the background, that's why. The entire back half of this case is filled with power supply. I'm going to remove the entire business here and replace it with a modern switching power supply from Meanwell. I want to be able to return this to its original state, so I'm going to be very careful. I'll remove everything, including the fuse holder, switch, and power connector, so I don't have to even cut any wires. Oh, look at that. Poor spider. Doesn't even realize he got to experience intercontinental air travel.
Here's the new power supply. It's a Meanwell RT65B. It's rated for 5 volts at 5 amps and 12 volts at 2.8 amps. Should be plenty of horsepower for this old workhorse. I picked up some fresh new power connectors too. Because I don't want to cut any wires, I need to replace the fuse holder, power switch, and power connector. I got a new power connector, but I couldn't find a perfect aesthetic match for the fuse holder and power switch. But as luck would have it, those items are identical to the ones on the 1541. And I have this empty husk of a 1541 laying here just waiting to be a donor. You'll have to bear with me while I clean the heat shrink, old wire, and solder from these repurposed 1541 parts. Disassembly is done, part scavenging is done. It's time to start putting the 8250 LP back together.
Everything on the input side seems to be wired up now, so I can connect AC mains, put power to it, and test voltages. Looks good. I don't want the mean well to flop around inside the case, but I also don't want to drill any mounting holes. I found one hole that lines up, so I'm securing the mean well using a single screw. Hi, I needed two Molex connectors, but I didn't order any because I had a whole box of them here. All done, now I'm gonna put power to it and test. Everything looks great. I can put it all back together now. It has power and no blinking lights. I'll let you know if it works in a later video.